Is it working? Is it working? Are we act are we live? Why does YouTube always say stream health is yellow when it starts? I don't understand. It's it like it's not, is it? Is it? Is it bad? Is YouTube bad? What's up everybody? Welcome to the welcome to the stream. How are we all doing today? It is a wonderful Friday. However, he has no problem. Well, I don't think I have a problem. Do I have a problem? Maybe it's booting the server? Yeah, I don't know. It always says stream health yellow, but it doesn't give you any like warnings. It just says your stream is bad. And then you're like, okay, thanks. And then it just goes, oh, okay, it's good now. And you're like, cool. Don't, don't know why. But anyways, um, we're streaming today. And we're gonna do some challenge stuff because everybody loves challenges. So obviously I built the, I, I beat the scrap golf nine holes. And then I was talking to Scrapman about it, um, and Scrapman suggested that I, uh, I, well, not, I don't know who suggested it. Somebody suggested it, but, like, myself and Scrapman and Moombo, we all sort of played the nine-hole challenge. Whoa, I just got a big frame tear there. That was cool. Um, but we did the, the nine-hole challenge, and then I was like, all right, so I'm gonna build my own nine holes now, and then I'll, I'll let them try and play them. So hopefully Scrapman and Moombo don't watch this stream. So I'm gonna build my own nine hole challenge and let them try and play them and then maybe Moombo will build his own nine hole challenge and he'll try and play that. So it's probably not gonna get through all of them in this stream. We're probably gonna maybe build like three or four of them depending on how long it takes. Um, I wanna make my holes have uh, a few things. One, a lot of logic to make them really complicated. Number two, uh, yeah, Durf did it too as well. Right, yeah, Durf did it too. You're right, they're uh, best boy thunder. Yeah, only nine people. Uh, I think that the view count is glitched. Um, I think the view clown might be glitched. Hold on. I can't. Why can't I move this? There we go. Go there. But yeah, gonna put some logic in it. And I know Scrapman, I don't know if Scrapman had like a theme to his golf holes. They just kind of seem like, like random holes. Uh, uh, my theme is gonna be trying to build uh, holes that just troll the person as much as possible. Like just completely troll them in like as many ways as possible. So they're not necessarily gonna be difficult. I know Scrapman had some with like crazy balance beams and stuff. Mine are just gonna be like trolling, like like what you wouldn't expect to happen ends up happening and it just like, you know, it, it'll be good. So this is gonna be hole one. Um, I don't really know like, you know, in, in any particular order. I have like ideas for maybe three holes. So I'm gonna probably need your guys help to figure out how to, uh, you know, some of the other ideas, but I have ideas for maybe like three of them. I'm, I'm, I haven't really thought of the other ones. It says 53 now. Troll, yes please. I'm the troll master trolls. I like this already. Yeah, so my holes are gonna be like, stuff like, for example, when you go to put the ball in the hole, the hole has sensors on it and it moves the hole out of the way. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I want to go for. Um, another idea I had, which I was talking to Scrapman about it again, but another idea is to make a hole where when you click start, all the ball spawners come out of the ground and all of them except for one are fake balls and if you hit them, they don't move and one of them is real. So that's another another great way to troll, to troll somebody, you know? Like just a really simple troll like that. So stuff like that, those are the kind of ideas I want. Uh, I'm gonna have a few that are complicated with like multiple colors because I know Scrapman did some colored stuff, um, but definitely some trolly stuff. So the first one is gonna be pretty simple. Obviously, uh, oh sweet, Streamlabs is working even though I didn't open it. That's 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 always a good sign. Uh, hold on, let me go to Streamlabs here. It's probably probably should probably should have that open, shouldn't I? Login with YouTube. Yeah, no, Con Gaming. That's me. Yeah, no, I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I'm gonna use your guys' ideas a lot, uh, or maybe a fake hole that will just drop it into the void. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Con, Con, I can't believe you're doing this. Well, of course. Yeah, it's gonna be the ultimate trolling golf course. Make a moving hole for sure. Uh, I want to make... So the first hole, my idea for the first hole, guys, and again, I really hope Scrapman and Moombo don't watch this because if they do, it's gonna be so much easier. But my idea for the first hole is to have a ramp down and as the ball is coming towards the hole, the hole... The, as the ball is moving towards the hole, the entire hole is going to slide away, create a gap, and the ball is gonna fall in the gap. And the only way to beat it is going to be to dodge the little small sensor that you don't happen to notice. So, or maybe we'll have a line of sensors and only like one of them won't be hooked up. So you have to figure out which sensor it is. Actually, I like that so much better. So let's, let's do that as the first hole. So we're going to get, we need a, a base platform. Platform's small. 
large moving platform. No, I don't want that. Isn't there? There's large platform too. Platform shallow to slope. Finish line platform small. Platform large. Uh, how big is the small platform? It's still huge. All right. Well, I think that's gonna. That'll be our default hole width. It's still so large though. All right. You know what? Whatever. We got to do with this. All right. So let's move this over here. We'll weld this up. Uh, and we'll get some some stuff started here. So yeah, the first hole is just gonna be really simple You're just gonna go across a gap and then the whole gap will disappear Unless you don't dodge unless you dodge the one sensor. So that'll be the first hole just a straight shot uh, Really simple stuff, but again completely troll based and I'm gonna actually make my holes uh, I want to make them concrete on the top because I, I think concrete painted green uh, looks more like like golf turf no what do you guys think you think you think it looks better do you guys think okay you know what we're gonna we're gonna ask chat here do you think it looks better like that or like that which one do you guys like do you guys like the tile pattern or do you like the concrete pattern i like the concrete i think it's smooth it looks good con when my pc is back i'll make the trolliest mini golf for you guys awesome make it jump too just came in what's up maria you could do wooden platform but it should be fake you can only win if you have a vehicle but you don't yes concrete 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 yeah pretty much everyone's saying concrete right yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I think the concrete looks better. Anyway. So we're just going to remove the paint from this. Uh, and we're just going to... We'll just uh, have this as our concrete platform. And we'll actually... We can save this as like a default... Um, like a default golf platform. And then that way we don't have to keep redoing this every time. So let's just really quickly slap this together. Alright, we'll uh, slap some green down. I wish in creative mode you could do 64 by 64 drags. You can do 16 by 16 in creative, but in in and in survival, I'm assuming it'd be the same. But in this, you can do 64 by 64, and it's so much more convenient. Um, so, anyways, this will be just a mini golf platform. We'll just save that like that. And that way, we have a default done. Problem solved. And we're just gonna weld this guy somewhere in the middle. Just kind of guess. Not really concerned about this. And now we're probably trapped inside. Yeah. Can I really? Okay. There we go. Alright. Use a lighter green. Lighter green? Okay, what do you guys think? You guys think this green, maybe? What do you think? That green? Oh, that look yeah, you're right. That looks golfy. That looks that looks much golfier. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally right. I gotta redo that platform now. That looks that looks golfier, right? Golfier, yeah. All right. Well, oh, I don't want to share. No, I don't want to share. No, stupid game. Stupid. Stop. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Build. Okay. All right. Let's let's paint this and then we'll save it. All right. Most excellent. All right. This looks great. So, uh, we'll just save this real quick. Mini golf platform, there we go. And then we'll weld this one to that one. Just grab a corner. And we'll just weld that. And then we'll just kind of clean up this edge a little bit. I mean, I don't really care, because, like, you know, I don't really care if I continue the pattern, because, like, obviously this is not the point. I just don't want to have these stupid gaps. Um... Can I get this? And then just... There we go. Problem solved. All right. Cool. So that'll be the start. And then we'll do another... Um, like a gap here. So this will be the gap part. Something like that. Pretty much pretty much all we need. And then we'll do a uh, another platform there. Attached to the end. And then we got to set up the whole troll mechanism for this whole... By the way, you guys seen the movie Happy Gilmore? Has anybody has anybody seen the movie Happy Gilmore? Do you guys... So, if you guys have seen the movie Happy Gilmore, it's about uh, Adam Sandler. He becomes a golfer, right? And, uh, you know, he, he, like, he just has this, like, crazy hard swing. And, like, he just, like, smokes. He comes running up and he hits the ball and he golfs it. But there's one part where he doesn't know how to putt, right? And so he learns how to putt. Oh, 99 cent super chat from a human being. Thank you so much for that super chat. But uh, he learns how to putt, and uh, there's this one hole with, like, the clown and the clown face, and he, like, putts into the clown's mouth, and then it spits the ball back out and laughs at him, and then finally he goes, you're gonna die, clown, and then he destroys the clown with his golf club. 
So anyways, we're gonna make that's gonna be one of the holes So there's gonna be a clown face and you're gonna hit the ball in and it's gonna spit it out But if you go up and destroy its cardboard nose with your hammer, then it'll actually let you go through the hole So that's gonna be like the best That's gonna be the best hole ever It's literally just gonna be like you have to keep you literally every time you hit it in It'll plunger the ball back out But if you go up and destroy the clown with your thing, then it'll actually let you play the hole so that way it'll just frustrate people to no end and they can't figure out how to do it until you completely wreck the hole and you notice that, oh my god, it's actually made of cardboard. So I, I thought of that. Or make it be the fake be a troll face. Yeah, or something. It'll be some kind of a face and then you'll just like, you know, it'll it'll troll you. So that's going to be the idea. Um, actually, we're going to connect this here at the bottom, I think, is probably going to be better. Just like that. And then I can actually do this stuff up here. And if you, your ball, like, you know, it should probably, it'll probably fall off there no matter what. Like, I don't think, I don't think it'll matter. I think it's, I don't think it's going to balance on that. Um, like, that would be the luckiest balance if it did it. Right? But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to do that. How will I play? I'm going to do nine holes. A timed hold with balls or doors. This is the first hole, right? This is the first one. You can make a nose push with button explosives behind it. Oh, yeah, we could do that, too. Maybe a bu button with explosives. I was thinking of having the nose made of cardboard and have an explosive barrel inside the cardboard. So you smash it a few times, and when you hit it, like, the second time, it explodes. Um, that's going to be my plan. But this is going to be hole number one, though, guys. This is it. This is the full length. Uh, this is going to troll you. And we need sensors here. So we need... We need... There's a bigger sensor, isn't there? There's, like, this one. Big sensor. What's the radius on this big sensor? I can't tell. You know what? Let's just let's just see what I can do here. Hold on. I actually like building this with a concrete layer on top too, because now we've got this extra line. So let's just see how many sensors I can fit here. We've got this extra layer that I can, you know, cut off and then. But we're just gonna put a bunch. So basically the idea behind this hole is every single sensor, except for maybe one or two, uh, will destroy this gap. Otherwise, the gap will be there. So you have to figure out which one sensor is the one that actually lets you go through. And we'll, what we'll do <laughs> is we'll put a random number generator underneath it, which we can do in vanilla just by spinning a bearing. And if you, uh, if you don't have, like, it'll pick a random one each time. How many do we have here? Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Okay. And how many wide is the ball is the question. The ball is like four wide, isn't it? Let's just grab a ball here. Okay, so we need we need two sensors. So we're gonna do them in pairs of two. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Uh, let me actually check something else real quick here. Let me just put a free floating ball. Now, Scrapman made it so that he started the challenge with a hammer and no other inventory things. How do you do that? Does anybody know how to do that? Does anybody does anybody like I honestly don't know how you're supposed to do that. Like he made it so that his challenge starts with only a hammer in his inventory uh, and nothing else. And I'm, I'm so confused about... How, why can't I delete this? What the heck? There we go. Um, so, hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to... I'm gonna Slash enable hammer or something like that. It's a command. You slash help. Oh, okay. Slash help. Oh, I see. Slash enable underscore sledge hammer equals true. Or just, I guess, not equals, just true. Yeah, okay, enable slash hammer equals two. So slash enable underscore lift false. Slash enable underscore paint tool false. Slash enable underscore weld tool false. What else do you start with? I think that's that's good enough. Let's put a, let's put some starter stuff here and then we'll we'll test all this and see what we're missing. You know what'd be cool? If Scrap Mechanic had a GUI. And you could just like click and 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 select that stuff. But anyways, all right. So there's the the thing. Uh, and then the ball spawner. Yeah, I guess we could have just slapped one of those here. I'm actually I don't want to do it the way Scrapman did it. I just want to have it 
like one like right above the ground he had it on this like pillar thing and i guess so that you could get like a different hit i i don't like i didn't like that i just wanted a little bit off the ground so you can get a smooth hit but i don't want to have this like crazy um high tee off thing so we'll just put the ball spawner like something like this and then normally like in golf in mini golf you have like a little pad that you hit off of that's a little bit dark what about like a, a you know something like that hmm what if i do that in a different texture sorry guys i'm gonna, ch I'm gonna read your chat in like two seconds here Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it in this texture. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Hold on. Let's do it like this. And we can, like, there we go. There we go. I don't want that yellow line, though. Unless we make this whole thing yellow. Hold on. That looks okay. Maybe darker yellow? Oof. Oof. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Whoops. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how every hole is going to have that starter thing. You missed the connection tool. Did I? Uh, enable... What's the connection tool called? Enable connect tool? Enable connect tool. Enable underscore connect tool false enable underscore handbook false am i missing anything else client toilet enable underscore client underscore toilet false am i missing anything else spud gun doesn't have by default handgun lift paint tool i think that's it so let me just save and uh, let me just test it here real quick we got the hammer all right and nothing else and we'll put a we'll put a chest of hammers here too just because in case you have your buddies join or whatever um so now we just got to figure out really quickly how wide th these sensors pick up stuff let's just guide that a little bit come here okay you're i can't tell how do i tell if these sensors are on do they not pick up the person do they only pick up objects or they don't they don't light up at all what the heck Uh, okay. So that, I don't understand. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I don't understand how these sensors work. I'm so confused. Like, do I have to... I, I, hold on. Let's, let's just wire up. You know what? Let's just, actually, let's just pick one in the middle. Actually, what am I even doing? Why don't I just put one down? Uh, here we go. Grab this. Let me just put it down over here in the middle. Sorry, guys. I, I know this is... I, I have... Honestly, I don't use these sensors, so I have no idea how they actually work. Um, you need to start the challenge for them to work. Oh, of course. Everything requires the stupid challenge to start. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's put one here so we can test with it and see what the actual, like, building sta status size is. Uh, let's go make the challenge starter. That's why I should read chat more. You guys have ideas that I just don't. And we need a, a button for this stuff. Um, so you start the challenge. Like, I don't know. Where do I... I, I I'll just build one, like, a little a little pillar. Now, you know what? Let's just make this pillar of concrete. There you go. You start it here. Something like that. Or maybe... You know what? Even better. Let's just let's just put the, the switch, like, right here. You can, just, you can just start the challenge with this little switch there. Um, that'll trigger that, and that'll trigger that. Right. Whoops. Uh, okay. Just like that. Alright. Alright, so let's, uh, save and test. It's kind of annoying that when you test the, the, the challenge... I mean, I guess it makes sense, because that's how the challenge works. Um, alright, so let's just... We can just hit this, I guess. So we got our ball. Uh, okay, what's this... How's the sensor range? Oh, it's like literally the edge of it. Oh, it, it doesn't even have to be on it at all. Well, that's that's great. It's like, yeah, like just barely the edge and you'll you'll trip it. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's I thought maybe it was going to be just the very center of it. Okay, cool. 
So we can do all sorts of shenanigans with this now. Alright, so we're going to pair them up in pairs of twos. Um, and only one one of the one of the twos will... Okay, so we got to... We gotta do that, and then we gotta build the hole. Uh, and then we gotta do the end piece. And the end goal platform can be under the hole. This is a real pain in the butt, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I gotta I gotta cut a hole into this thing. Let's just leave a hole on the side. Okay, there we go. And then I can't. This is this is actually a pain in the butt. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just let's just make a big hole. You're dying inside? Why are you dying inside, gopher? Did you say something that I missed? Con, use my pseudo-random generator. I mean, I'm just gonna use the old-fashioned, like, wheels smacking with an electric motor trick. If you put a spawner on a switch, the player can turn it off. If I were you, I wouldn't- would use a memory bit. Are you serious? The player can turn that off and it'll stop spawning? No, that's not- that's not true, is it? Are you serious? You're probably right, aren't you? Huh. I mean, I I get what you're saying. Like, I totally get what you're saying. But, like, if you're dumb enough to turn off the spawner during the challenge, like, do I care? Like, that's the thing. Like, like if you, if you, if your ball doesn't spawn and you turn it off, like, does it matter? Like, who cares? Like, they screwed up, right? Like, wouldn't they just be... Wouldn't they just be, like, whatever? Like, sucks to be you. You should have you should have left it on, you know? Maybe? Is that... Like, I am I crazy? Or, like, that's what I'm thinking, anyways. Um, right. I also need to figure out how to, how to make this platform disappear. Actually, no, I don't. It's easy. What am I talking about? It's just going to slide into this. Just be a, just be a nice little slot here. These sensors are not going to be quick enough. Actually, they will. They they should. Okay, you know, let's do... We're doing too many things at once, guys. One thing at a time. Goal platform first. This is objective number one. Let's get rid of this stupid goal platform. Uh, just put this... No, it needs to be higher up a little bit. Alright. Goal platform. I can't even tell if it's centered. I mean, that's, I think that's close enough. That looks pretty, pretty centered, right? And then we just need to, uh, put a golf hole in the middle. Ooh, that's too high up. Holy cow, that is, that thing is massive. I forgot how big this thing is. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check Chad in like two seconds. That's close enough, right? Couldn't be a troll if you couldn't reactivate it, Con. Would be a troll if you couldn't reactivate it, like one ball, and then you just have to reset the challenge. I mean, could make every start that you can't enable start again except for one, which requires you to do so. I mean, that's just that's just mean. That's just mean. I am gonna make a challenge though. There is gonna be a challenge where you purposely have to get rid of like the first three balls, and then it'll actually let you finish the challenge once you've got like the fourth or something. So you purposely have to die a certain amount of times before it'll actually like let you beat it. So that's gonna happen for sure. But I don't want to. I want every challenge. Like I want you the ball. Like if you hit it off, it, it automatically comes back on. But yeah, I am gonna make a challenge 100% that just completely like you have to purposely die to do it. I'm making this like the worst golf challenge ever. Like nobody's ever going to want to play this in the right mind. And I'm trying to make some of them like this one, for example, I want to make, I'm not going to make the sensors hardwired. I'm going to use a random number thing. And that's why it'll sort of troll you that extra step. Um, just cause if you try and, you know, if you try and like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to do this like this first. Um, but yeah, if you try and like memorize like, oh, it's always the sensor on the right. No, it's not because next time you play it, it'll be a different one. So as far as I'm concerned, this can just wire straight into that, right? And like this should just work. Let me just, let me just, we'll put this up here just to test it. Right? Like this should just work. Got that. Hit this. 
By the way, everyone commented on my golf video that I cheated in Scrapman's golf because I hit the ball multiple times. That's sick. Okay, cool. That works. So everyone commented on my video that I cheated on Scrapman's golf because I hit the ball multiple times and like you're not supposed to hit the ball multiple times in golf. Um, I totally agree with that. I'm not. I'm not arguing that I didn't cheat. However, Scrapman in the beginning of his video today. Don't make stuff RNG based. It's bad for speed running. Mini, mini. The whole point of this golf course is to be bad for everything. It is supposed to be the worst golfing experience of your entire life. This is going to be like awful. Absolutely awful. But anyway, Scrapman made his golf challenge today and then he called us all out and was like, oh, none of them beat my challenge. Like they all cheated. Like, or Con and, Con and Brent cheated, I think is what he said. He's like, yeah, Con and Brent cheated. But then like you watch Scrapman play. And like, what is it? The second hole he plays is like, he cheats himself. Like his own, his own second hole. He like, his second shot, the ball was still rolling slightly when he hit it. And everyone was like, yo, Con, you cheated by doing that. And I'm like, yo, what was Scrap Man? Make the sensors color sensors. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, Lars. Uh, another challenge, there's going to be one with, with different color sensors and stuff. Don't worry. Do you YouTubers watch each other's videos? Uh, yeah, we kind of do. Um, like, it's to an extent. So, like, we talk a lot more than people think we do. Um, so, like, for example, like, we, we discussed, like, when I did Scrapman's golf challenge, I told him before, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna play your golf challenge, because a bunch of people have been asking me to do it. And, like, he's like, oh, cool, like, I can't wait to see you play it. And then when I played it, I show him the video, and he'll watch that video in particular. But he doesn't watch, like, all my videos, but, like, certain videos, like, we talk to each other first. And then, uh, you know, if there's something that's interesting, then yeah, we'll for sure, like, we'll watch it. Like, I watched Scrapman's Calling Us Out video on, on the golf thing again. Um, but yeah, it's 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 kind of a weird thing. Because we, we obviously were busy, and we don't necessarily have time to watch every video that we all post. But, uh, you know, we try and watch some of the stuff. Um, so anyways, let's, uh, let's just set this up. We'll just uh, do this. Actually, this needs to be on a controller, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The one thing I like about challenge mode is I can be really dirty with my logic and not care because no one can see it because the challenge just hides it all. So I can just be like, yeah, here's some really gross looking, you know, logic assemblies that just suck and could have been done a lot better. But uh, you guys never see it anyway, so who cares, right? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be impossible to do Because the controller is gonna actually make that only four Crud muffin I don't want to make a controller with logic, but I'm gonna have to or I got to use regular pistons and stack them Well, what's this gap? Let's you know, what? let's let's assess the situation. What is this? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That's such a terrible gap distance. Alright, let's uh, reduce it by 6 to make it an even 30. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And we'll do this one. Two, three, four, five, six. I will con. Wait, what? Speaking of which, I probably shouldn't have this stream in the background if I plan on playing this course. Yeah, Derv, if you want to play this course, don't have the stream on in the background because I'm going to talk about, um, you know, the different troll setups that I'm doing. So so don't, if you, if you have an intention on, you know, playing this course and making a video on it, then, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely turn off the stream now. Uh, like I said, though, a lot of the course elements are going to be RNG based. So that way, you know, people can replay the course over and over again and have a different experience. But there's definitely going to be some stuff that is very obvious. Um, yeah, so that's just the way it is. All right. I'm making troll mini golf. What's up, Al Strack? Welcome to the stream. Wasn't SM's a troll mini golf, too? Uh, no. I mean, SM's was like, kind of like, Scrapman's was like, not, not nearly as trolly as this. This is gonna be like, super troll. Like, the first hole is already gonna troll the, the crap out of you. But anyways, uh, 30. So I need two pistons. I kind of want to do this, like, just have them push. Because I can do this, and I can do this. 
right? That actually works. And then I need this one. Actually, I can. I need this way up higher. What am I doing? I don't know why it's way down here. It needs to be mounted to the ceiling here. So just uh, let's grab this piece again. So this goes like this. One, two, and then we'll loop this back over to here. And then, oh wait, no, I screwed up again. Guys, I suck. I suck so much. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try this. I need to come up from the bottom. It needs to be mounted to the bottom. That's right, but this is too tall. All right. Sorry, I'm really terrible. I'm, I'm terrible at building in this game. I don't even understand how this game works. All right, this is, that goes like that, that goes like that, that goes like that. And then this goes over to here. Okay, I'm stuck. This is, this is okay. And then this comes across to that. Let's just paint this so I can understand what's what here. I just confused everything. All right, that goes like this. Oh my God, no, that's not, that we want this, okay. This goes like this. All right, amazing, amazing. We're doing something here. That goes like that. Again, this up and up. And then we, I made this whole assembly too low, but it doesn't matter. I really don't care. We'll just leave the gap bigger. Oh God. There's no way this gets held up by one piston. Oh. Oof. Well, that just became a little bit of a problem, didn't it? What if the whole platform just retracts? Like just... Or folds down? Like just rolls down maybe? Just like flips down on bearings? What do you guys think? That's gonna that's gonna be too too saggy. I wanted it to like f go down and pull back in, but it's gonna be too saggy. Use a bearing piston, like what? It, yeah, make it fold with the controller. Use a big piston. Yeah, the big piston. I just it can't sequence it as easy on the controller. Just use a super piston. Everyone's everyone's just saying use a big piston. Ugh, fine. But I need like multiple big pistons. All right, we'll redo it with a big piston. We're just gonna, just gonna, just gonna come down here. Hold on, I'm gonna delete this, and then we'll get rid of this. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a multi-part stream, by the way, guys. I'm not gonna do all nine holes today. Obviously, it would take way too freaking long. So we're gonna do um, probably like at least, uh, like I'm hoping at least two or three. Uh, today, but again, it depends on how complicated uh, each hole is and Then uh, and then we'll do another stream on another day and do another two or three and then another stream on another day And so on and so forth until we get through all of them uh, And that'll be the golf challenge So I, I know Scrapman did like uh, I think a few videos like three or videos or something of him building all the holes um, Or maybe it was more than that. I don't want to do uh, whole building videos. I just want to do uh, like streams to build them and then you know, obviously play them uh, Would I might do a playthrough after a bunch of people have just like Scrapman did his and call them all out on how to do it But we'll see I think I think the troll aspect is gonna be great um, Right, so we put this here All right, so this should work now, right? This this is this is working. Oh my goodness. I can't you can't paint these pistons. Alright, and then this we need this to be like this. Something like that, right? Hold on. Sorry guys. I'm just checking something. Alright. Uh it looked just look forward to my evil shenanigans. Oh, you're gonna, yeah, Blue Flame's gonna make a, an even worse course, apparently, than mine. You guys are all, this is like, we're literally, Scrap Mechanics just becoming a golfing game. Scrap Man started something, and now we're all just gonna finish it. Uh, guys. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. I was about to say it.
Remember how you guys were all like, yo, use the big piston? The big piston works, bro. Like, the, the, the big piston. Yeah, exactly. Golf mechanic. Add guide rails. Um. Oh, it's fixing itself. Don't worry. It fixed itself. Seems fine to me. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh my god, face reveal. No, I always, uh, I, you can go back and look at all my streams since, like, the beginning of my channel. Uh. You can go back and look at actually some videos even. Some of my really, really old videos I had my face cam on. I've been revealing my face since like five subscribers, since like 27 subscribers. My first stream, I made a hover bus. It's still on the channel. You can go check it out. Um, best hover bus in Scrap Mechanic to this day, it, it still hasn't actually, actually uh, been beaten. There's no one who can make a hover bus quite as good as that. By the way, this, this pattern, this caution block pattern is destroying my eyes. Um, it's just, it's just too much. It's also destroying the bit rate. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And we're just gonna do it with, like, wood or something that's less aggressive. Alright, where do I have wood? Here we go. Yeah, the big piston, the big piston, uh, it doesn't seem to be working here, guys. I might have to go back to the just flop the whole thing down on bearings method. But let's see. Let's try this one more time. Let's not rule it out yet. There we go. So that's the full width. Let's go this way. Now, see, as soon as you add too much weight, it just it does the same thing. Look, it's saggy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go to the bearing flip down method. This is just a saggy piston mess. I think it's because we've got the two pistons here. But there's no real other way to do it. You'd have to do it with two, and I think the two is the problem. So, anyways, let's just delete this. Let's just do it with a saggy. Saggy. All right, let's delete that. Yeah. Okay, so let's just make this this flop down. This is gonna be a lot easier to do too. So we can just actually cover this all up. Not as exciting, I know, I know, but like you know what, it is what it is. So we're just gonna do um, like probably ten bearings. So like one here, one here. I need the bearing piece, right? I mean, it'll do the same effect, really. Like there we go, and then we'll do a gap of two. Whoops. A gap of one, and then another one, and then a gap, and then... Well, stop grabbing that. You know what? Let's just swap these two. There we go. Gap. My hand default, like... I've been used to building so much in Scrap Mechanic that, like, my hand defaults to certain buttons, right? So, like, three is my default block button to use. Five is my default... Or six is my default bearing position, sorry. Like, it's just... You know, you get used to putting stuff in certain locations, and then your hand just kind of automatically grabs it uh, as you play the game. So that's just sort of the way it is. So if I don't put stuff in the right spot, it uh, it really screws me up when I'm trying to, like, do quick building things. Alright, and then I need the, the thingy. The, the paint thingy. Hold on. Let's just... Bearing. There. 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 And actually, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I got to delete all these. This is actually a pain in the butt. Because I got to weld all this together. Got to got to grab all this. And then I got to delete all this. So hopefully I can get this all off. As one assembly. Which I can. And then we got to paint this. Sorry, this is I it's a little bit confusing. I know. Sorry. There, there we go. See, now those are all bearing attached. And those are all bearing attached. And then we're just going to make this out of wood. So it's light. And we just got to attach all these. Like, so we got to weld them all together. Hence why it's got to be on the lift. All right. That, 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 and that. All right. One, two, three, four. And then one more all the way across. Weld that. Done. And then just patch this up. Whoops. Patch this up. I'm going to take a break here, drink something, and read some chat. Because everybody everybody wants to know. Everybody's got opinions. If you make the platform smaller so you need to jump the rest of the gap, you could use pistons. That's true. But I, I, I'd rather just do it this way. And just, you know, flick those down. Call it a day, right? I can just, I can just flick these down with a controller. You know? Like, let's put a controller in here. And we'll just put the switch on the outside for now. We'll delete the switch before we do the challenge. There are going to be some challenges too. Where you have to like hit some buttons in a certain combination. To enable the challenge to actually do something. So that'll be kind of fun. 
Uh, definitely gonna have some of those as well as part of this troll series. Where, like, you're not just golfing. You're actually having to do stuff as well. Um, but again, we'll, we'll get there. This challenge is just gonna be the, you know, figure out which sensor doesn't flip... Well, which two sensors don't flip the platform down. Alright, so that's that. And then we need this. Uh, actually, I still need that block, kind of. And then we need the big sensor boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, hold on. What if I put a gap between each sensor? Because they're they're accurate right to the edge, right? So what if I did this? Like that. Because they'll still pick up the ball. There's no way you could hit it in between two sensors. And then this way, each sensor could be its own thing, right? Because then, yeah, like the ball can pass right over one sensor without hitting the other side one. So now we only need to pick one instead of picking two. Uh, or maybe we could even do a gap of two, actually. We could do a gap of two. So let's let's try that and see if what the spacing looks like. So we can do that, and then two again, and then two again. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, whoops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and oh, actually, this would work if I if I did two on the outside as well. So 13 total now. Which is going to be really weird to make a random number generator that does 13. But anyways. But I'm going to do it just with like... Yeah, there we go. 13. Done. Alright. And then this, and then this, and then... I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I know, I'm sorry. Everybody's, everybody's got opinions. And I'm just not... I'm not... I'm busy trying to figure this stuff out. Here we go. Alright. is a bad number to randomize, but anyways. Alright. You could you leave four block gaps. Three block gaps. What are the sensors for? So the sensors, you're going to hit your ball, right? And then there's this gap. And the gap has this bridge, right? I'll show you. So the gap's got this bridge made of wood, right? Which, look at how stable this is now. Amazing. And actually, we're going to just reduce all this down to just like a single line. Like that, or two lines. So it's got this bridge, right? And only one of these sensors is going to let you through, and the rest of them are going to deactivate the bridge, which should do this. Um... The rest of them will just flip the bridge down. So you gotta pick exactly the right one. This is gonna be how this works. So hold on, let me let me let me do this. There, nine, there we go. Okay. So like it actually blocks that. Are you serious? Okay, hold on. Why don't we just reduce this by a few? What is this? Three? There we go. Three works. And then we'll just put the three on this side. Oh, actually, I don't even need three. I can put this one. Yeah, that's probably better. Two there. There we go. And then this. All right, hold on, hold on here for a second, and then there we go. All right. The question is going to be, if you hit it fast enough, would it still let the ball go over before that drops? And the answer is probably yes. So the solution is move the sensors back to, like, here. Right? Because if the sensors are here, then there's no way you could you could possibly hit it fast enough, I don't think. By the time this activates with the circuit, maybe back even more. Maybe like like back here. Yeah, I guess what we'll do. Um Hey, can you go into third person? I haven't seen the model for the robot yet. Sure. This is the robot. He is um he's a robot. 
He has an arm, a single arm, and then a winch on his back. I don't know why. And then he's got some stuff and a and a and a bag of stuff. Just make the bridge go up so it'll block the ball. Yeah, see, I thought about that. But if you make the bridge go up so it blocks the ball, um, you're going to run into the issue where if you hit it fast enough, you could get it over the bridge before the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, before the ball goes. Um, what if I gap at three? One, two, three. There. One, two, three. 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 Oh, three. Look, that works great. Perfect. Yeah, so my concern with hitting it up is that you could still technically, like, beat the bridge. You know what I mean? And I don't want I don't want you to be able to do that. Um, so that's why I'm going to make the bridge go down. How many, how many is this now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Of course, it's an odd number. Like, eleven is such a pain in the butt. But anyways... All right, let's do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and do this. All right, just gonna, this is actually, I'm stupid. I'm, I could have done it this way, it's a bit easier. All right, problem equals solved. Con, just do gaps of four. Can I do gaps of four? Is that, but the ball, the ball could pass through a gap of four, couldn't it? All right, mini, or not mini, that was blue flame. All right, we'll, we'll We'll check. We'll do. We'll check your gaps of four idea. I mean, less sensors is going to be easier to deal with. But if I do a gap of four, so there's four. That's like a sensor in between, no? Wouldn't that just... Wouldn't the ball pass through that, though? Oh, this is kind of weird. Okay, well, I can do this. Move it over. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? Ten? Okay. But the ball, how big is the ball? Isn't the ball four wide? Oh. Oh, it's not. The ball's like five wide? What? Is the ball five wide? Is, is that honest? Is the ball five by five by five? It picks up on all the sense. Is the ball actually? Does anybody know? Is it five? Like five by five by five as a cube? Is that is that really what it is? It's five wide. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you guys just solved my problem. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm slow. I really. I really am slow. I'm like. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not smart when it comes to figuring out these things. Takes me twice as long. Um, so that's ten. Uh, and then this we're gonna paint like a brown color, something like this. Oh right, I forgot this one's attached. Ha. Um, there we go. Paint that like that, and then like this, and then like that. All right. Uh, we don't need this anymore, I don't think. That's self-contained. And we need to do this set of things. So we need to make a double RNG generator dealio. And we need to put a delay on the start signal. So the start signal has a delay so it can have time to pick the random number before you get your first hit in. Uh, and then, yeah. Alright, so we can do that. So this is the time delay. Like, I don't know, like one, two, five seconds, three seconds, three seconds maybe. And we'll just, uh, we'll hook that up. 
Oh, right. I'm in, I'm in a different... That's right. I forgot. Okay. This goes to here. And then goes back to here. Actually, people can't change timers, right? Like, people... If I start it with... So, I can do this. Just because I know if I put a timer... And it's not built into this platform. People are just going to get mad confused. And they're going to be like, why is my ball not spawning? So I'll just put it here. And then that way you can actually... You can see it go. And then it'll spawn your ball. Alright. Save this. Let's test it real quick. Use user inputs as a delay. Wait, what? What do you mean user input as a delay? Make the end goal for this level a castle and have the ball fall in a slope mode with the wood being a bridge. Ooh, that would be cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of, like, decor stuff with these challenges. Like, I want to make these troll you a lot, but, I mean, this one... We could make that a little castle, couldn't we? We could just, we could just make a little, little simple castle. And then this bridge, but then this bridge wouldn't be, we'd have to make this bridge like narrower. Ah, maybe in a different level we'll do a castle. For this one, we're just going to make it really big, flat, open, really easy. You know, I want it like the same impression as Scrapman's challenge where it's like, oh, this is, this is easy. It's just a, it's just a straight challenge. You just have to go straight and then, you know, it'll just troll you, which will just be amazing. Um, so that'll be, that, that's what I think I'm going to do for this one. So. We need to make a random number generator for 10 stuff. 10 seconds stuff. That's wonderful. Um, let's make a memory bit here. Okay. So we got that. And then this will set that. I mean, if you turn the switch off at the beginning of the challenge, you might screw it up. But, I mean, that's that's your own problem as far as I'm concerned. So, that sets that. Um, bum, bum, bum. It's a 40 object. What? Make a version of the windmill hole. Where the ball just gets thrown off the course right before the windmill. Yeah. I'm going to know if you like that. Is mayonnaise a golf ball? Well, technically, they're both white. So, Yes. That's how that works. Um, if two objects are the same color, they are the same thing. Um, why not just use nor nor memory of the challenge? Just don't use nor nor memory in a challenge. It's the worst. Wait, why? What's what's so what's so bad about me using nor nor memory in a challenge? I'm like I'm confused, blue. Like other than the fact that it'll automatically activate the challenge if you have it hooked up there, it's not that bad. I mean, this will just have a one tick blip. I could use XOR as well, but. You know, hide the sensors. How do I hide the sensors, though? Like, you can't put them below the ground. Right? They're all just stuck there. Anyways, uh, doesn't matter. I guess, I, unless we did, like, some crazy rotating controller stuff. Meh, whatever. No, we're gonna leave that. Alright, let's do some RNG stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna do it the really annoying way that blue is gonna get mad at me for doing but i'm gonna do it anyways because it's the way i like doing it blue is gonna be like you could do rng with logic and if you set up all your logic properly it's no effort see blue get blue flame gets mad at me because he's one of my mods and he's a great mod don't get me wrong but he gets mad at me because he's really smart and like i do a lot of really lazy stuff because i'm lazy and like i do a lot of stuff with logic that's just easier but not as smart and Blue's always like, you know there's smarter ways to do this, right? And then I'm like, yeah, I know, but I don't care. And then he's always like, "Er, these kids and their video games. And then he's like, yeah, it's like pretty much the way it is. Yeah, no, I get it, Blue. I understand. You're too smart for your own good. Don't worry. One day you'll just surpass, well, you've already surpassed me pretty much in all this crap. I'm just a frustrating person to deal with. Um, this going to be a horn. There we go. This does something, I think. Yay, it spins. There we go, just like that. 
And then right next to it, you put one of these guys. And uh, welcome to how to build an RNG generator 101 scrap mechanic. Um, the con lazy version. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's the wrong part. Uh, where's my horn piece? My horn piece. Here we go. Horn. Right? So this is like... This is this is kind of RNG. You'll see. Uh, no, I don't want all of them white. One of them is uh, blue. There we go. Is it? Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck? It shouldn't have gotten stuck. Did I screw up? I got the dimensions wrong somehow, and I got it stuck. Hold on, hold on. I have one of these saved somewhere, somewhere, in the best creation in the world. I have one saved. Uh, this creation, whack-a-mole, which is gonna destroy the world. All right. Um, how did I? This is uh, whack-a-mole. In case you guys haven't seen whack-a-mole before, this is why it breaks worlds. Yeah, it's not it's not a fun creation. Just make a bigger one. Yeah, hold it's, this is what I want. See, this is the RNG generator of science right here. I need to just cut this out of the floor. I'm just gonna take that. Just take that. It's fine. It's fine. I should really just save this. There we go. But yeah, whack-a-mole is uh it's uh it broke. I can't say I'm surprised. So Scrapman built Whack-A-Mole and then was like, yo, Khan, can you make some logic to make this work? And I was like, yo, I'm on that. And then this is what we ended up with. Anyways, uh, let's get out of here and hopefully not destroy the world. All right, I'm going to save you as uh, vanilla RNG. RNG. Perfect. And uh, I want you here. Wonderful. a lot easier than uh than trying to do it on your own i'm gonna use this a lot okay so these sensors are this is like an eight wave generator for rng so these sensors pick up this little dulio guy there and if we power this guy and we smack it see it, it smacks it to a random position every time see that and then when you stop it'll eventually just settle on a position see that so if you if you run the the so actually let's do this with a, with a controller here let's do this all proper so we'll just hook up some buttons here just so we can test and then if we uh if we hook this up to like a little a dulio guy uh xor or a thingy hi con try playing factorio yo could just make an actual dice Ooh. Ooh, that would be so cool and have the different sides color coded and on like a bed of color sensors and it shakes and then depending on which color sensor lands on Now you just need ten of those for even distribution. Listen blue. You're right. I'm not I'm not arguing that um, I'm trying to think of a way to do this without ten But as far as I can tell there's no way to do it without ten Unless I have an uneven distribution and I think I'm going to do it with an uneven distribution. And I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to make it so that it's more likely... I need two of these, really. Hold on. Let's, let's spawn another one. Because I'm going to need two to do this awesome uneven distribution. Um, yeah. So like this, right? And now this gives me a total of 16, right? So this gives me like 16... Well, actually, it gives me... Hold on, what does this give me? This gives me 8 times 8. So this really gives me 64. So I have 64 different combinations in here. Um, because this times this, right, is the number of combinations. Um, but I think what I'm going to do... Is just have, like, the majority of the triggers in the middle... Or the, yeah, so the majority of the times it picks one of the outside ones and lets you only go around the outside. And more often than not, the middle ones are duds. 10, 10, yeah. I mean, that's the way to... Eh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, something like that. 
Make two RNG of five and one with two, so it selects out of the two results. Yeah, but it, you can't, because of the way this spins, right? Because of the way these spin, um, you can't just, like, delete a few sensors, right? Because it only goes through one of eight positions. Um, but anyways, let's, let's just test this real quick. So this goes to that, that goes to that. Oops, this goes to this. All right, and this will be like a one second spinner. So like if I set this bit. Oh, I guess it would help if I hooked that up, wouldn't it? So if I set this bit, it spins them for like a second, maybe a second and a half. 1.5. Right, and then it'll it'll stop them in two random spots. I don't really care if it goes both ways, to be honest. But I mean, we can easily fix that just by doing this. Right, and now if we turn it off, it won't go back. All right. Um. Yeah. trying to think here guys for the people who are asking this means rng means random number generator yeah sorry rng is random number generator it's just really that's why whenever you hear people saying oh dang that rng so most games um that have random elements to it use a random number generator and it's not random at all a random number generator is based off a seed value and the seed value is basically a really long string of numbers and uh it just it just uses that to determine the actual sequence of numbers nothing is truly random in computers it's all pulled from some C the only way you can make something truly random is to use an external condition so even these two RNG generators are technically not random like yeah they rely on the randomness of the scrap mechanic physics engine but technically speaking that that in and of itself isn't random uh, the physics engine you know does stuff as well sorry my brother is uh, is just wants to know my address uh, so I'm just gonna call him a creep and stop doxing me is what I'm gonna say uh, hold on here. Yeah, it's just it's really important that my brother doesn't know where I. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Technically, nothing is random. Yeah, I mean the the only thing that you can actually the that I mean yeah the only stuff that you could really you know is more random than what we're doing is uh, weather and and um, not like what weather but like for example if you look at raindrops and you you have a plate and you measure where the raindrops land on the plate, uh, you know, over time, you could potentially see a little bit of randomness in that. That's, like, pretty much the only thing you could you can go with. Um, so, anyways, we have 16 here. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can just put 16 sensors up top here and make my life easier. Although, that doesn't really work, does it? This one we can split into a 1 of 2, and then this one could be 1 of 8, and then that would be 16. Right. Like that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Or no, you know what? We can do it with ten and just have it kind of a really weird distribution. So it's gonna be really simple. There's gonna be uh we need some logic here. So here we go. We need there's two here. Right, that'll go out, and then there's an or condition and the ore is for the rest so i don't know we'll just pick arbitrarily this one and this one it'll be two of them and every other one means pick from this wheel so it's not an even distribution obviously um no that's not what i wanted the wrong one it's not it's not an even distribution really uh because if it picks one of these two off this wheel then it'll completely ignore that wheel uh but you know what it, it whatever it's close enough. And then these two on this wheel will just be the outside two. And then these two Yeah, will be will be yeah, whatever. So anyways, uh and then eight on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The point is it'll be unpredictable, which is all that really matters, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight, right? And then we take this one and go here. It's funny with the mod pack, you can't um, you can't do any like, or not with the mod pack, with the challenge mode, you can't do any like mod pack logic and stuff. So you really have to uh, think about, you know, all the old school way of doing things. Um, so, anyways, if we, no matter what, if we, if we, you know, let's put um, I guess we can just let's just put a button that connects straight into the the motor for now. Um. Can we stop? Yeah, let's stop. Let's. All right. So when it stops, it should give us that one. Gives us that one. That one. Okay, that's good enough. Like I mean, you know, like it, it's you know, I think it's good enough. It'll give us, it'll give us something, like, it'll give us something different every time, I think. Right? Your hat. Yeah, my hat's a Unity hat, guys. Check it out. See my Unity hat? Unity. I also got my haircut. You guys like it? You like my haircut? Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my haircut. I have to go to a funeral tomorrow, so that's why I got my haircut. Like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go to a funeral. So, look at this. Look at, you see me balding? Look at this bald spot. Look at this. Look at, I got this receding hairline going on as I get older, right? Like, look at this. Look at this stuff going on here. What is this? What is this? This is bald baldness. Cringe. Kana's hair. Yeah. Oh my god, who died? No, my grandmother died like like months ago, like at the beginning of January. Um, but they're not. We're just finally having the funeral now because it was. Uh, yeah, it was uh, really like cold and winter, so you can't like, you know, dig a hole in the ground. Oh, I mean, I was sad like three, four months ago when she actually died, but. You know, it's been a while now, so we've had time to think about it. I, I, my grandmother, when she was in the hospital, I, I drove to see her every week when she was in the hospital. So I would drive from my town to like hers, which is like an hour and a half away. I, I would did that every week for like two months, you know, because someone has to go see her and stuff. And so, it, you know, it sucked. Like it didn't suck seeing her. I loved seeing her, but it sucked when she died. But you know, I'm over it now. Um, so yeah, that's a depressing part of the stream. Yeah, so that's 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 the depressing part of the stream. But anyways, we're back to building a golf challenge. But anyways, yeah, so like January was a little rough and then like, you know, I was I was busy dealing with that. Um uh, but now like now we're having the actual funeral and it's like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm you know, it still sucks, but I'm kind of over it. Uh, I'll probably be sad tomorrow to be honest. The funeral's tomorrow, so I gotta drive again to go for that. But anyways, um, let's do this. So now we need all these hooked in. And so let's just pair them all up. Uh, something like this. Uh, we can leave them as gates for now. So we'll do this one on the outside, I'll go to here. And this one on the outside, I'll go to here. And then the rest we'll just assign to the middle. Uh, like that. Something like this. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Problem solved. F? Wait, what? Why is there an F in chat? I'm confused. Did my stream die? Or are you guys saying F for my... No, stream seems okay. Is it... Is it... Oh, F to pay respects for my grandma. Yeah, that's why, like, it was, it was a rough... This year kind of sucked. The beginning of the year, like, everybody, like... I think between myself and my girlfriend, we've we've been to like four funerals this year so far. There's been so many funerals this year, it's insane. Like 2019 has been a horrible year for funerals for us. It's just been like one after the other. Um, so it's been rough. It's been, it hasn't been a fun year yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, F, F in chat. But where does this F thing come from, right? So, like, you know, Markiplier is E, but where's the F to pay respects come from? I'm so confused. Is that, like, I don't understand it's a meme, but I don't understand where the meme comes from. And the description says English and chat, please, but I'm not good at English. It's okay. Like, the main reason I say English and chat is because my mods all speak English. And if you post stuff in foreign languages, they may or may not actually know what you're talking about. And, like, I don't want 
you know, people saying offensive things in some other language, right? So, it's if it's English, we can understand who does what. Um, so now we just need, like, the trigger. Which is basically... I'm trying to think what the easiest way to do this is. It needs it needs a memory bit to fling it down so that no matter what once it's down you can't activate it back up which is true so let's do that so that's just this you basically if you want to get it back up you have to restart the challenge is is the idea um, you can't just respawn a new ball remember to save your challenge thank you game there we go boom 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 okay so that's the memory bit that shuts it down um let's you know what let's just cover up the hole in the ceiling we can just keep going out through the side there <laughs> all right like that and then uh these are all paired i'm just trying to think it's basically if you go over a sensor and that sensor is not active on the other side then you got to trigger the bit so how do i do that like every wow i think press f to pay respects is from the call of duty maybe that would that might make sense. I should actually look up that. All right, let me read chat. What do you guys been saying? S. Any other Germans in chat? Tip. Crap ton of logic. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Holy cow, that's a lot of deleted messages. Good job, mods. You guys are on top of it. Blue flame. Troll level shouldn't be actually random. Maybe a little bit, but not really. Yeah, I mean, okay. So there's gonna be some that aren't random. Blue flame. They're not all gonna be random. Um. Just this particular one, I want it to be random, just to continuously troll you. Um, wait, if you reset it every time... No, we can't reset it every time. If you reset it every time, it would pick a new RNG every time, and you'd literally have a 1 out of 10... You'd have a 10% chance of actually winning this hole. The other 90%... Yeah, we can't do that. Never mind, we can't use a memory bit here. It's got to flick it down for a period of time so it kills your current ball and then bring it back up so you can re-guess the same one. If you reset the hole, it would pick a new number. But if you don't reset the hole, it'll, uh, yeah, yeah, it'll, um, if you just let your ball die and respawn, it'll eventually flip it back up and then you can, uh, pick a new one. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Otherwise, this is going to be just a nightmare. You'll never beat it. All right, so this will be like, like I don't know, like three, five seconds maybe. It'll drop it for, maybe longer than that. Let's go ten. So now if we blip this, yeah, and then this would go out to here. Uh, yeah. Hold on. This is not. This is not. I gotta do this different. I gotta do this with the memory bit still. My bad. There's just gotta be a controlled by a thing. Uh, nor, nor, or. That. Nor, nor, or. That, that, that. And then this is the condition that blips it. Something like that. Why is my stupid... This thing doesn't turn off. It actually... Hold on. My fireplace is broken.
All right, back. Sorry, guys. Oh, the chat is scrumptious. Can I show my cats? My cats are uh, both currently upstairs, so I don't want to. I don't want to go and um, disturb them. All right. Fix the fire issue. Um. How long? I, well, I need this like four ticks, right? I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, guys. I'm dumb. I'm being I'm being dumb today. I'm making really dumb mistakes. I'm sorry. This is this is stupid. I screwed up this logic yet again, and it's not even like hard logic. This is just me being dumb. Uh, that goes to that. Goes to that. Goes to that. That goes that. Goes that. That goes this. This goes this. Right. Then this whole bedoodly majumner goes through the reset timer, like that, back to there. So now. Okay, now I'm less dumb. And this guy hooks to the controller. So now if I do this, flicks it down, and then when that gets back after 10 seconds, it'll flick it back up. Ta-da! All right. There you go. Magic. Right? If we hit this, can I, you know what, let's just, let's just connect it way back here. Let's put this on an OR gate, just so I can do whatever. Alright, so that, so if I hit this here, flakes it down, and then it waits, and then it waits some more, and then it waits some more. I mean, you might be able to really, like, heave the ball and hit it over that. You, you, honestly, you might. You know, you know, I feel like you will be able to. I feel like that's not going to be a hard thing to do. I feel like this is not going to be big enough. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Uh, and let's just save and test real quick. But I think, I think you're going to be able to do it. So if we go like this, it's going to pick an RNG. Yada, yada, yada. None of that's hooked up. Doesn't matter. Um, let's flip this down. That'll keep repeating on a 10 second cooldown. Let's get closer here. Okay. So like... Okay. Okay. So like, I'm, I'm right at the edge. Let's just wait until it flicks up and then goes back down. Or is it, is it gonna even do that? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. Okay, because it's just being constantly set. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, it's close. That is. That is. I wanna. I'm gonna try it again. You might. You might be able to do that. You know, if you can do that, that's a problem. Like, what if it's got a little bit of a spin on it and you're going? You've got some momentum with it. No, that's okay. That didn't work. Nope. I guess the solution is I could just have that flick up, couldn't I not? I mean, we could have another thing on the other side that flicks up to make a wall. You won't make it? You don't think I'll make it? Uh, yeah, you might, you might be right. Maybe this is just futile. Let me try it one more time. Let me put it right on the edge and just flick it up. Let's see what happens. Alright, slow down. Slow down, ball. Okay. Slow down. I don't know. I don't know. That seems pretty... Pretty doable. I'm also realizing one other problem with this. 
if you hit your ball over the sensor and you just stop it here, right? And you wait right here, then you can you could literally hit your ball over the sensor. You could have it wait here. I thought I was gonna do two holes today. My goodness, this might take too long. I might only get through one hole. Holy cow. Um I might have to build some more holes offline. But anyways, if you get your ball over the sensor and then it stops here, this is gonna flip down and it'll just wait. It'll it'll just sit there. Like it, you can just sit there and wait, and then ten seconds later you can come back and press the button. And it, or you come back and it'll flip back up. You know what I'm saying? I got an idea for that, actually. I have a great idea for that. Okay, okay, here's the idea. This does not exist because this is stupid. Wonderful. This switch is going to be replaced by a button. Right, which starts the challenge. That goes there. So when you hit this button, do I need the three second delay now? I don't think I do. Sorry guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read chat two seconds. I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna figure this part out. So that goes there. You basically have to hit the button again to respawn your ball. And when you do that, it also flips the bridge back up. But it doesn't change this because this picks the random the first time you press it. So, in theory, it should work. So let's just try this out real quick. So we hit this, it spawns our ball. Right, the bridge is obviously up. Uh, I screwed up. Stop test. Uh, I need to. Let me just put a thing that'll kill the bridge. So let's just pretend this is our bridge trigger, which we still have to, to make. Uh, where is that connected to? Oh, we don't want that. Okay. Tell me when you see this. I am German, but my English is very good. Awesome. Con, I'll be right back. Take it a shower. No problem, Blue. Um, recommendation, Blue. If you don't want to leave the stream, take your phone or your iPad with you into the shower. Um, you know, I hear they're waterproof now. Don't actually do that. Seriously, you're going to break your phone. But you could. Uh, just thought. We all know a good golf map must have RNG. Exactly. Uh, here we go. So we're in the testing phase. Um, we can press this, and that flips the bridge down, you can see. So let's hit this, and now if we hit the ball. Um, why is my bridge back up? Oh, right, 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 because I, because I started the challenge, right, the ball. So let's hit the bridge down, right? So let's say the bridge falls down, and now it'll never come back up. And then we go, yeah, like that, and we screw it up. And the bridge still won't come up. And then when we finally come back down here, we can hit this again. And it brings the bridge back up. But it didn't change the RNG. So if you hit reset, which I can't do here, but if I hit reset or restart, it'll change the RNG because when you hit this for the first time, it'll, uh, it'll you know, change the RNG for it. That's brilliant. This is going to work great. Right? Yeah. Change aren't that same. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, and then I do want to make this push up. I want to make this go, like, just straight up. As a, as a wall. Just to mess with people. Just to make it worse. So there's no way you could possibly ever get over this and clear it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So this will just go like this. We'll just put a block there. A block there. Uh, crud. actually okay I can do this I don't like the fact that you have to like to weld two things together you have to have them on your lift especially in challenge mode because now like if I want like I want to do this and then connect this all the way across right but now to do this like to weld it see it has to stay on the lift but anyway it's not a big deal just you got to think about it when you're making some challenges and then now we can take this 
and weld it like, I don't know, like here, right at the bottom. Right, perfect. And these can be 15 high speed. 15 high speed. And I'll paint them. And then connect them up to this. All right. So now if we deploy this thing. With that button. Perfect. There's no way you can clear that. Pay more attention to chat. Sorry, guys. I'm, I, it's when I'm doing logic stuff. And a lot of people ask me, like, how do you get logic straight in your head? Um, it's because you remember it and you focus on it. So if I go back and look at an old creation, I can't figure out the logic. Uh, but that's why you see me, like, kind of slack off from reading chat. Because I'm trying to just focus and keep the stuff straight in my head. And then I, I usually, when I have a break. Well, I have work I need to do. That sucks. I'll see you all another time. Have a good stream. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Cube. Cube cubes. Pay more attention to chat. Yeah, I got that. What if you made it so the bridge starts down instead of up and you have to find the right sensor to continue? I thought about that, but then I thought you could just hit the ball here and then hit the ball straight across and get them all. Or you could just walk across it and get them and you wouldn't even have to hit the ball, right? So that was my, my thought process to not do it that way. That's why I'd rather it that the sensor, the right sensor... Um, you know gets rid of the bridge or whatever that was my thought it was because if you do it so hey <laughs> zev zev green says hey con can you say my name so i'm on youtube please what's up zev green you can timestamp this stream tweet it to me if you want at cod gaming cod underscore gaming tweet me that i'll give you a, a like and a retweet just for your your good old shout out now you can be super famous all over the world not actually but anyways um, doesn't he know that he has to beat it or am I not getting something? Yeah, I know I have to beat it, but I'm not, I'm not done fixing it. I got to do this chunk of logic here and then I'm done. Use NOR gates to invert the RNG outputs and then connect these outputs to the corresponding gates and the sensors and then connect all the gates to sensors to an OR gate. Use NOR gates to invert the RNG outputs. Okay. I'm, I'm sort of following what you're doing. So let me, let me see here. Which means all of them are going to be lit up except for the one that you need. Oh, yeah, you're right. And then when any of the sensors is tripped except the one you need, it'll complete the AND gate, which then you feed out to an OR gate, and then boom, problem solved, you're done. You're brilliant. Brilliant. Who said that? Who said that? Der Bastler. Logic. Perfect. Like, that's 100% that's right. You're exactly right with what you need to do. This goes like this. And then I connect them all to the corresponding AND gates. And now the thought is this. If you blip any sensor that has the NOR gate connected, it'll blip this AND gate, which in turn powers this, which in turn resets the whole thing. But if you blip the sensor that's on the RNG, which is this one, it won't complete the AND gate connection, which in turn won't change this, which in turn won't power it. Brilliant. Brilliant logic. That's actually amazing. Der Blastler. It's that's the so it's so simple. It's the simplest way to do this, uh, actually, and uh, it works really well. All right, so let me just hook all these. Look, we have an OR gate here already. We just hook all these into that, and now we should be done this challenge. We can beat it, and then we can work on our new challenge, which I'm excited about. The next challenge, I think I'm, I'm gonna do the clown challenge next. I really want to do that one, the Adam Sandler clown challenge. I think it'll be great, uh, and it'll be a little bit easier to do than this one. It won't be RNG based at all. It'll just be a troll. Um. There we go. So that. So that, and then this one. So that should work. It'll pick a new number every time. That'll pick that. That'll pick that. That'll go to there. Done. Uh, so let's try it. Everything's hidden. Everything's hidden. Something good. Okay. Oh yeah, we need a chest of hammers. That's right. Let's get a chest here. Uh, we'll just, you know what, we'll just put it, like, I don't know, right to the side, whatever. Whoops. 
Uh, and then we'll put some hammers in it. Oh, nice. You can just hit shift. That's sweet. There we go. Done. We got enough hammers. Save and test. I'm making a flying car with no thrusters, no glitches. Do you remember me? What's up, Sharkboy Page? Timmit, will the clown laugh? Uh, I'm trying to make the clown laugh. I don't know how I'm going to do it because we only have tote blocks. But I'm thinking I'm going to make it like, mah, mah, or something like that. Like with the tote blocks. Like just two tones. Please stop ignoring me, Con. I sent you fan mail. What's up, Snag Snail? Yeah, I haven't checked my email in a while. I will I will take a look. Um, sorry. I haven't I haven't honestly checked my email in a while. I've been busy doing adult stuff. Um, like paying my taxes and buying a new car and then selling my old car to my sister. Um, so yeah, or not selling, I guess. Giving my old car to my sister, but there's still a bunch of paperwork you have to do when you give a car to somebody. So I've just been I've just been doing a bunch of adult stuff. But I got a new car now, which is beautiful. Uh, my new car is really nice and then i mean it's just like it's a nice car for it's a nice sedan it's not anything fancy i didn't buy like a mercedes or a lamborghini or anything like that it's a chevy okay it's a chevy sedan okay let's just let's keep the church in the village here i'm not super loaded I'm not one of those like multi-million dollar youtubers okay i'm not i'm not komodo gaming okay that's right that's i said no i don't know i don't know how much money komodo makes but anyways doesn't matter uh bought a new car so there's a bunch of paperwork that and then taxes, and then selling, and new car, and all this. Why do people say to shout them out? Only two things will happen. Either they won't get a shout out, or the YouTuber will deliberately shout them out and make them look like a fool. Um, I mean, kind of, Casey. I mean, people expect... I don't know what the... the, the I, I, I mean, there's a thing with shout outs. It, shout outs for growing... If you have your own YouTube channel, and uh, you expect shout outs to grow your YouTube channel, that doesn't work. It really, it really doesn't. Uh, if you have... Um, yeah, if you have if you have your own YouTube channel, you expect shoutouts to get your YouTube channel to work. It really it really won't work. It, it does not work that way. So let's uh, let's try this. Let's just hit it this way. Okay, so it's not this sensor. All right, so let's let's reset it. All right, so let's try. That was like the middle one. What about this one here? No, that sensor. <laughs> Dang, this is gonna be a fun challenge. I know I'm hitting it multiple times, guys. I know. Um. Is it this one? No. So that's all three of these. Let's try these three and then we'll go the other way. This is the worst. This is the worst challenge idea ever. All right, so this one, no. No, that one's dead too. God dang it. But yeah, shoutouts for, for stuff is bad. It doesn't work. Can you show us in a, in a what? A, in, a, in a neighbor video? I don't understand what that is. Komodo has like 600 or more subs. Yeah, I think he's got like 700. That I already checked that one. Okay, you know what? This is... Let's Before we do this with a ball, we can just do this with the player. Let's just test this with the player. Is it this one? No. I want to make sure it actually works. There should be... Like, that's my main concern right now is that none of them work. What about this one? Is it this one? No, that's two. Okay, perfect. That's, that's great. That's great. So that's not it third one from the right it's gotta be that one right this one oh my god no okay throw this one uh, okay it's not the fourth one is it any of them watch it be none of them we already checked these ones no let's check this one oh <gasps> it's this one it's this one and this one doesn't work right okay so it's that one it's okay 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 got it got it got it good so it's the one on the right so it does work i think ish it might glitch and none of them work which would be just hilarious no 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 no. we're just gonna hit that ha ha you suck game i'm better than you all right and then just like in the hole perfect and then i just gotta leave and come back in there we go okay well, it's beatable Awesome. So let's, uh, I think that's it. Like, let's just make sure we don't have anything we're missing. We got the hammer. We got all this covered up. That's fine. That's fine. This is all covered up. No holes there. No holes there. There's no holes in here. All right. So let's save and save it. Let's exit. Let's play it. And then we'll go to the next one.
I'm leaving. I'm gonna go binge watch Scrapman's channel. Okay, Logan plays. Are you Logan Paul? Are you like the real Logan Paul? Make them color sensors that they only detect the ball and not the person. Oh, 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 that is, that is, that is so mean. That's so good. And yeah, this is live. What's up, Dylan? Welcome to the stream. Dylan Croon, everybody, has joined the stream wondering, is this a live stream? Yes, in fact, it is a live stream. Thank you so much, Dylan, for stopping in. These color sensors are not, I can't make these color sensors, can I? Can I not make these color sensors? This makes me sad. Can I not, can I not, can I not make these color sensors? Yeah, that's depressing. Is that just, is that just me like challenge has to be started? No, these ones I can make, I can't customize these at all. Oh, that sucks. So the only way to do it would make a four by four grid of regular sensors. So 16 regular sensors. Does painting them work? No. Can't the ball fit between the sensors? No, it can't. The ball is five wide and the gap between the sensors is only four. So no matter what, it'll pick up at least one of them. Um, shoot. I guess, you know what? We got to do this with sent. We got to do this. All right, we're just gonna build this assembly on the lift and then we'll duplicate it a bunch of times. So we're gonna do sensor, 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 sensor. We'll only do it like that. I think that'll be enough. Um, and we'll just leave them at like max range. So that'll be the, the assembly. We'll make this an or gate and we'll just connect all these into that. One. Two, three, four, right? Are they all connected? I think so, yeah. And then we'll make them all uh, color mode white. White. I like this idea though, it's good. Cause I don't want, I agree. I don't want the player being able to like go and deactivate, um, like go activate the sensors and figure out which one's legit before they actually even hit the ball. I think it, it's more troll based if you have to actually um you know figure it out with the ball that just makes it so much worse we'll do this like that okay so that's one sensor block we'll save this golf sensor and just to confirm white 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 i'm leaving the range on 10 that way if you try and like hit the ball over it won't work um Is the gap of four still going to be enough, though? Somebody stop this man. Why am I... Why... Con, I have a con mug. That's awesome. Somebody stop... Minnie, what am I... What am I doing? That's, should I make this... I should make this wider, actually. I should make this five wide. And then that way it's just... Because now I'm using sensors, so I can make it any size I want. So there we go. Five wide. Color mode one. Whoops. No, not red. That would be... That's the troll way to do it. Make it the wrong color. Oh, my goodness. You just never win the challenge. You just always lose. Alright. So that should be good. Golf sensor. Done. Yes. Alright. And then uh, we just need to weld all this stuff. So... Something like this. Delete that. Just cut this, cut this. Uh, let's just do a check real quick. Five. Actually, I can just delete this. There we go. Five. A gap of like three. One, two, three, four, five. Gap of one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Five. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. 
Oh, did that work? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gap of one on one side, two on the other. It's close enough. That's as close as it's gonna get. Um, but now we have less gap, and you know it's off a little bit. Like whatever, it's an even plate versus an odd plate. I don't really care. Not a big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Now I'm going to have to beat it. Yeah, beating it's not going to be a big deal. It just It's going to just take a while. I mean, I obviously understand how it works, so I just need to figure out which pad is, you know, not going to not gonna screw me over here. Um, there we go. And then we just got to wire all these boys up afterwards. That really sucks that the big sensors can't be changed. Um, I think that's a really dumb, a dumb idea. You can't change the range or the color. That's That seems really dumb to me. It would have been much more useful than this, but anyways. All right, so there we go. And then we just need to finalize this with some of this and some concrete. Seal that. I'm not really worried about, uh, you know, filling this in both levels. Just that's good enough. Make a sensor that detects the ball when it's on the start position. If somewhat cross the sensor while the ball will start, the bridge disappear even if it's the right sensor. Oh, I mean, yeah, inst you could have done that instead of the color sensor, sure. But now we've got the color sensor, so it doesn't matter. So even if a player um, tries to walk across them, the sensor won't trigger. It'll only trigger on a white colored object, which is the ball. There's nothing else you have. You don't have anything you can spawn, so... Um, yeah, it only it only trigger on a white colored ball with those sensor setups, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, that you're right. The other way to do it would have been to um, just have the ball um, have a have a start position sensor, and if the ball is not on the start position and you go over anything, it just shuts the bridge regardless. Like it turns the bridge down. That that would have been the other way to do it. But it doesn't matter. We've got it this way now. Uh, this will work fine. It should be all the same. And actually, I'm going to put a pulse extender on this just to make sure you don't accidentally glitch it because we are using Nornor memory. And this is where Blue is going to get mad at me. But if you use Nornor memory, you need like at least three ticks to make sure it activates um, just because of the way this circuit is set up. So you just put a pulse extender, which is literally just this. So that wires all the way through a chain. Uh, and then all of these go into a single OR gate so that each one extends it by one tick so it's one tick two tick three tick four tick and then it just extends the pulse and then no matter what it'll fill that um yeah so that's the way that'll work and then i need to reset this actually okay i can't reach that there we go because I want it to start down. All right, so theoretically that should work. These are all wired up, right? Wire, 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 wire. That's that, that's that, that's that, done. Save, exit. All right. I can only go 480p, 480, wait, what? Well, if it's four, more than 40, I'm streaming at 1080p. You should be okay to watch it that, but big sensors are more fancy. Yeah, I know the big sensors look nicer. I agree, but we just built that and I'm not gonna go change it now. We already, we already built it, it works. It'll be done. Like, oh, it just looks like a little line. It's not a big deal, right? So let's play it. We need to beat it before before sharing it. Pixel art your logo on the grass. Oh my god, that would take so long to do. Unless I used like some sort of a generator. Uh, why is this lagging so much? Okay, I don't think that's related to the level. That's weird. It just went away. All right, so we hit this. And then, like, just hit it straight, I guess. Let's just go over this one. And that didn't work. So it's not it's not the middle one. Let's try and, let's try and go to this one. And it's not, it's not that one. So it's not this one. It's not that one. Let's go left, left three. 
And just to confirm, if I walk on this as a player, none of these should light up. Yeah, that sucks. All right, so let's go to the left a little bit more. That was not good. I'm also going to cheat. I know you're not supposed to hit the ball multiple times, but I'm going to do it. Oh, no, that one's bad too. Okay. This, this is a really troll challenge. The fact that you have to run all the way back is the worst. All right. Let's just go this way. Let's go a little bit. Nope, not that one. So we only have one more to check on that side. I don't know why I started with the middle. I should have started with the one side. But anyways. All right. Let's go this way. Oh, no. That one's too hard. It went to the same spot. I'm stupid. Do you guys think it should have walls? No, because if you have walls, you can dodge the sensors, right? I'm just thinking for like, like, should I have a wall here? Like, maybe the wall stops here? Like, just, just, you know? No walls? No? No? Okay. That's fine. I, if you guys don't want walls, I, I think you're, I agree. Like, the no walls just makes it worse, but... Um, I just wasn't sure. What's is it this one? No, it's, it's not good. So let's try like from this way over All right, let's try this again. So it's middle like This one that one No Okay, what about what about This one is that one Oh my goodness. There's only like three left. It's literally like the last one I pick. This is the worst. There's three left. Three on the right. Like, unbelievable. It's gotta be like one of these. Unless I wired it up wrong somehow. It was that one! It was that one! Alright, alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get in there, get in there. Nice! Oh yeah, right. I gotta, I gotta go out of the, the thing and then come back in. Right. Nice! Hole number one is done. Troll hole... Number one, perfect. Two minutes, 43 seconds for me. Got it on like the seventh try. Can you make a hole where you have to build a robot that can finish the challenge? I'm, I'm thinking of making holes where you have to build some stuff, but I'm not sure yet. I don't really want to do that because like the thing with the way I want this challenge to be is I still kind of want it to be like every hole you build. Um... Um, I, I want to make it so that Eric, sorry, Minnie just messaged me something not to read this out loud. Don't read this out loud. Oh my god, that's so bad. That's such a troll move. No, I'm not, not going to do that on this challenge, but I'll do that on another one, Minnie. That is a super troll. Super troll idea. I'm definitely going to do that on one of them. Um, but yeah, I want, I want the golf challenge to be more like everything that you need is already on the map. And all you have to do is like beat the map. Mr. Panther Pro said, Mr. Panther is pro, sorry, says, uh, hi, my very first super chat is to you. Um, make the finish line lifted up by piston so you don't have to run out and then back in. Lifted up by pistons. I mean, I guess. If you make the ball stop just before the bridge and then reset the bridge, you could get through faster. Yeah, that's true. I thought about that too, Pixels Gamer. You could cheat. If you hit the ball past the sensors and then stop it and then run back and then hit the button you could just cheat your way through the whole challenge and just like like cheat it that way um and there's no way to avoid that is there yeah unfortunately there's no way to avoid that unless i do some like crazy crazy stuff trying to think how I could cheat how I could avoid that I'd have to make it so that if the ball goes past the sense when the ball triggers the sensor um, a whole plate flips up and like automatically forces the ball to go down the crack that's the way to do that you know what? let's we have to do that now that's gonna bother me if I don't do it because you're right it's too easy to cheat I gotta fix that. You know, I think this stream, we're just gonna do this one challenge. I have to actually leave in like half hour. So I was hoping to get two challenges done this stream, if not more. But um, because these golf challenges are like super troll, 
it's actually going to take a fair amount of time just to build them. Um, it might take me a while to get nine done, but I'll get through it eventually, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think I think for this stream we'll just finish this one and we'll clean it up. And you're right, I need to make it so that it kills you automatically if you if you hit the sensors if you trigger them. So to do that, when the bridge folds down, which it folds down on that. We also need this entire piece to flip up. We need that entire piece, including the sensors, to flip up. Like, almost need all of this to flip up. Really. So that it basically does like this. So no matter what, if you, if you try and cheat as soon as you hit the sensor if you got it wrong this will flip up forward this will flip down and it'll roll your ball into the death pit why you copy scrapman i'm not copying scrapman he's the one who uh he's the one who's who actually was one of the guys that suggested like we all make our own golf course and uh challenge everyone else to do it and then that way you know we can each have like a different course experience so i'm making a troll golf course I don't know what Moombo is going to make, but my holes are all just going to troll people with just logic systems and different conditions that make them terrible. So yeah, this whole plate needs to flip up, basically. And then we got to rewire it in, which we'll do. Uh, but yeah, that's got to flip up because there's no way to do it otherwise. And uh, we can actually just clear this out. Like that. There we go. Now it's just like little sensors. We'll just uh, paint those. Yeah, maybe I'll build a few courses. Maybe I'll build a few holes off camera and make a video of it. Um, I'm not really sure. Or maybe do the same thing kind of Scrapman Day where it's like a time lapse of the building on the video. By the way, I missed a super chat. Crunchy, uh, 3499 Canadian with a super chat. It says, love you. Uh, thanks so much for your super chat, Crunchy. Uh, love all you guys too. You guys are all the best. And... Uh, Thanks for that super chat. Really, really appreciate that. It uh, it does go a long way to helping out the channel. Um, one. I mean, we could. Can I put? Those are. Those are mounted, so I can't delete this stuff here. So I can go. Uh, what can I do here? Hold on. Let me just let me just do this. This makes my life easier. There we go. Now I know where the the pieces are that I can't delete. Um, so yeah, there, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna put a, like, a little support lip here, so that when it's down, it'll still be supported. Although I guess the edges will do that too, right? Um, actually, we need this whole thing covered. But just down one. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, guys. Literally spent the whole stream building one challenge. This is crazy. Um, I thought we were going to get through a few more, but I guess not. Um, oh, well. It is what it is. I'm going to do longer streams. I Like, I do have to go. I have stuff I got to do tonight. So that's kind of why I'm... Uh, I gotta, I gotta run, but otherwise I would, I would stream for easily four hours and just build a second one. Uh, but it seems to be like about two hours just to build this one hole, which is crazy. Mind you, we're also like, you know, chatting with you guys and stuff. So it is a little bit, you know, longer than if I was just making it by myself in a video. Um, but still pretty cool. I, I don't mind streaming them. It, it It's nice because it lets me get your guys' ideas and feedback and stuff on how to make this, uh, this whole thing better. Oh, I gotta disconnect this whole crap. This isn't gonna work. I gotta attach all these together. Ah, I hate this stupid game sometimes. All right, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta weld all this together. It's really, really annoying. There we go. And then there, two, three, four, 
five. There we go. Perfect. Two seconds, guys. I'm gonna read all your chat complaints, problems, solutions, whatever. All right, that, 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 that. There's five, and we're just doing this obviously to make it um, have more lifting power with ten bearings. That's right. Right? Alright, so then we should be able to take this and weld that to there. Sweet deal. Alright, and then this we can paint that green again. Done, and then we just need to make this sealed up to here. Like that. Done, and then all the way over to the end. Can I not? All oh, right, right. Sagging a little bit. Hopefully, this has enough power to lift this. Otherwise, we might have to make this out of wood too. Um, but I'd like to leave this kind of green to to match everything else, right? There we go. All right, and then we'll just connect all this, and then I'm gonna spend some time reading chat. 314 super chat from prisoner 108 he says make it more troll leave one block unpainted oh my goodness in every level just have one block that's not painted i should make a level though where there's like a few unpainted blocks and the unpainted blocks are what makes the difference this is super laggy now what the heck okay it went away never mind just when i was doing the connections all right, so the question is, is that strong enough to lift it? All right, 75, 75, 75. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick because I drank a bunch of stuff, a bunch of water. I'll be back two seconds, guys. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, you guys enjoy my couch. You enjoy the nice couch view. Um, yeah, I've already come up with so many trolls. I could fill an entire 18 hole course. I agree. There's gonna be tons of them. I'm really excited uh, to see them all, or to to build them all. To be honest, blue. But uh, yeah, this is just uh, this is just the first of many. Um, so let's see if this can lift it. Yeah. Don't even need that. Forty-five, forty-five, all the way through. Yeah. 
that's enough. And then, like, this little lip here shouldn't matter, because there's no way it's going to stop on that lip. Unless, like, yeah, there's no way. Um, and then I need to, to weld this thing, which is two. So let's just reduce this by two. No, three. Three, and then we'll weld this. Uh, did I not put spacing on this? I didn't. Oh, it was like two on this side, right? So one, two, there we go. And then over here, and then we'll just build this across. And actually, I don't need this lip anymore because the sensors will do that. And the lip on the outside. Alright, so that should be good. And then we just need to wire all this up. So this one goes to this. And that one... Can I reach? Oh, can I reach? Please... Yes, I can. Okay, that one goes to this. And then just across. So this... To here. This... To there. That one to there. And here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. And this one. Okay, and then another one. And then one more. Alright, and that should be it. And then we just need to reset it. I need a reset button that just stays in here for if I ever need it. There we go. Alright, so that should be it. Save. Exit. Save before exiting, yes. Now there's no way you could possibly cheat because if you push it past the sensors, it'll just flip the whole thing up and, and kill your ball. So you can't just reset it. You're going to suffer so much for the asymmetrical... I skipped one? Wait, I skipped one? Really? Did I actually? Let me check. Uh, Challenge builder, right. You sure I skipped one? Yeah, if it's not... Don't worry, it's part of the troll. There's nothing you can do. It's, it's two here... It's one here. It's even versus odd. You know what? If, if that really... If that... I don't think I missed one, though. They all go in. Yeah, they all feed. It's because these two are the two outside ones, and then these are the middle distribution. Because technically, these ones should come up a little bit more uh, than these two do. I think. If my math is right. Or it's the other way around. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. The outside two are different. Uh, let's play this challenge. Let's beat it. Suspension floor, please. That'll be a challenge eventually, but not uh, not this one. All right, so let's let's do this. So here we go. Start challenge. Oh, let's just go left side first, and we'll work our way across. Let's just roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, left side. Wow, that sucks. That sucks so much. And you can't, where you can't you can't tell where your ball went. This needs to be a glass floor. This needs to be a glass floor so you can look through it and see your ball roll off into the death zone. Alright, let's build that. Challenge. It's too... You can't see anything. It's frustrating. I suggest a while back you use the big sensors for color detection... After the color detection ones, the big ones are active. The player can't reset. Oh, I see what you're saying. You could do that. Just have a bed of big sensors here. We could have. We could do it that way as well. Um, yeah, you're right. That would that would actually be another way to do it. Challenge glass. That's the the glass that doesn't break, right? Uh, but we've already we've already got this set up. So let's just you know leave it like this, and we'll just we'll put some challenge glass down here, and uh, you know just just like that. Looks okay. And then if we paint this green, does it look like anything? 
Ooh, it gets darker. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, let's just cut this open and we'll flip it up. Yeah, you could do it with a big bed of, of sensors too, but uh, you know, for now we've already got it set with the controller, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it that way. Um, let's leave this here that we can manually set it. That looks cool. That's great. That you can clearly tell that your ball is dead. Uh, and you can't smash this glass with a... Uh, actually, it wouldn't matter anyways. But I'm pretty sure you can't smash this kind of glass with a hammer. Um, is the thing. So we'll do that. And then... Actually, I can do this. Oh, that's going to lag so much. Never mind. What am I doing? What am I... This is going to be so much stuff in contact. Like, two flat surfaces in contact with each other. That's just asking for lag. Uh, let's cut this off. And we're just going to make this, like, green. So it kind of hides the fact that that glass is, uh... You know. Not really, um... The same color as the course. There we go. This hole evolved a lot. Alright, perfect. So that looks okay. And then now if we set this down, it should look a little bit better. Uh, that one. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Uh, the reason I'm using challenge glass, I know someone's probably wondering why I'm using challenge glass. Uh, the challenge glass, I believe, is indestructible with your hammer. Uh, the regular glass is not. So if someone destroyed the regular glass, they could make themselves a hole. Uh, the challenge glass is invincible as far as I know. So this should be good to work. So let's build this or let's uh, let's beat it and then uh, I'm going to run because I got I to gotta do that. But let's beat this. So uh, challenge builder. And of course, you guys aren't going to be able to play these yet. This is hole one. I'm going to make eight more and uh, and then it'll be good. So build this. You could place ball spawner sensor so the ball doesn't spawn. The bridge is reset. Yeah, I thought that. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me, sorry. Con, uh, Blue Flame says, Con, how long do you think a troll golf level should take to finish? Um, I don't know. I'm, aim I'm aiming to have these levels between like two and five minutes. Like between, I guess, like zero and five minutes. I don't want anything longer than five minutes. I think more than five minutes, it just starts to get aggravating. Um, rather than trolly. It just gets aggravating. So, but I don't know. I got a ton of ideas for some, some great troll challenges. So I'm definitely going to keep working on them. Um, have one where no ball spawns. I have an idea for one like that. You'll see. But yeah, I'm definitely... I'll stream a little bit longer. Uh, might not be this weekend because, again, I got some stuff I got to deal with tomorrow. Um, but I'm definitely going to... I'm definitely going to build more challenges. I might build a few off stream and then definitely stream building a few more just to see. Um, all right, so here we go. So let's try this left one first. No. Okay, so that's that's great. So now we can come back here, hit this. All right, let's let's go try the next one, next one over. No, that glass is great. That makes it so much better. Just so you can see what you're doing. All right, so let's try a third one. Third one. We'll just, just kind of wait. Come on, ball. No, not the third one. Okay. So, the fourth one. No. Okay. Fifth one. This is very painful. This is this is extremely painful experience. No, not the fifth one. Okay. I'm always, like, I never guess it right on the first try. I don't understand. Or, or like, even the fifth try. Last one was, like, the seventh one. Sixth one. Not the sixth one. Are you serious? I have so many challenges for Scrap Mechanic, but I don't, or I have so many challenge ideas, but I don't have Scrap Mechanic. No problem. Uh, if you guys have ideas for, for challenges, or, like, whether it's this golf challenge, or just any challenges in general... Let me know in the comments of, like, literally any video or go to my Discord and post in questions and suggestions. I know I don't reply to the questions and suggestions a lot, uh, but I do read them. And I get a lot of ideas for builds and stuff from those. So if you have good challenge ideas, this stream will be uploaded. It'll be a VOD in, like, a bit. 
uh, when like when we're done. And when it is, just post a comment on the stream and just be like, yo, you should try building this. Oh, did I make it? Was it that one? Was it actually, it was actually this one or did I just dodge all the sensors? I think it was that third one. Let's just try that again. It's literally the same one it was last time. Is it always that one? That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? That was definitely that one. Let's beat this. But I'm wondering if something's wrong with my RNG generator. Can I... Can I... Excuse me. Okay. Thanks, game. I'm, I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the RNG. Let me just... Let me just test that real quick. So I beat it. Also, Con, if you get the right or leftmost sensors, you won't be able to stop the ball from falling off the bridge. Yeah, you'd have to hit it, like, out out to here first, and then hit it across, and then hit it in. It just makes it harder. Um, yeah, technically random means it could be seven every time. I agree, but I want to make sure it's actually swapping... That one's that number. That one's none. <gasps> oh, that's the ultimate troll. That's none. You'd be screwed if it did that. You'd actually be right screwed. Oh, that's so bad bad but that doesn't make sense this one's hooked up why is that none because this one's none well that's a problem isn't it Uh-oh. 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 Welcome to Analog Problems. Yeah, I know, right, Mini? Rather than digital. There's a potential that you could get a zero. Shoot. So I need to put a zero condition check on both of them. Actually, this is easy to do. Instead of this feeding from there, I just do it this way. Okay. So this is just a knot, right? This feeds all of these. And instead of caring about all the other sensors on that wheel, all you care about is if it's not one of these two sensors. If it's not this one or this one, then it's got to be one of these. So that solves that one not so if this wheel gets a zero position like it just did here it got none like really this only cares about these two sensors these other ones we could just completely ignore and if it's one of these two it'll trigger otherwise it won't now this one if it gets a zero it's got a default to something All right, so it's zero is this, really, if we just hook all this in. I, I, no, actually, the zero would be this. We just hook this in, so all of them are feeding into that. And then we feed the NOR gate off this. And so basically, if all of those are off... No, that that's wrong. That's wrong. That's still wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so bad. This needs to feed off the sensors. Right. Can't feed off the AND gate. So that. That. Three. Four. Five. Uh, six. 
Seven, eight. Seven. Eight. Okay, so that's its nothing condition. Which should light up if I, like, delete this, for example. Let's just get a another horn here. So let's delete that. So if I delete that, it lights up. If I put that back, it doesn't. Right? And that should work for all of them. Two connections, 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 two connections. Okay. All right. So that's that. And then, um, got to figure out who to default to. What do I default to? If the following the logic is already, wait, what? If I were following the logic, I would have already corrected you. Well, you know what? This seems like a better challenge than Scrapman's. This is a, a definitely a more of a troll challenge than Scrapman's. Morning Con from Australia. What's up? Asman, welcome to the stream. Um, default mid? I don't want to default mid. I kind of want to default like one of the outside edges. Just for just for the troll factor. Okay, so if that one's there. I kind of want to default like this far right edge, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to default. This will be the default. So to do that, we need this. And this feeds to that. Wait, can I do that even? Let me think about this for a sec. So if I delete this and I delete this. Yeah, that's the default. Because if it blips this, it won't blip because of this. And if this one... Here's my concern. What if the one on the left is default and this one's not? Like, what if this is something? No, you suck. No, why am I doing this with a hammer? I'm dumb. Yeah, hold on. Actually, if that's like that, it's still default. It's still that one. That one's still the one it's going to do because the left that one's defaulted. But what if this one is a value? Like, what if this one is value? I don't think this is going to work. What if that one's that? Now there's two. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a really bad motorboat trying to start. Um, so I can't default to this side. I got to default back to the other side. So we'll just do that. All right. Default. It's going to default to this one. And we hook it through the AND gate, and that's an OR gate, and that's an OR gate. Yeah, so it still has to be selected on this ring, so it still has to... So if it defaults, it goes to this ring, and if this ring defaults, it goes to that outside connection, and then everything else works as normal. So if it happens to get two defaults, it'll still pick something, right? So it should be only that one, which it is. I'm just want to make sure it's it's only like one at a time. It's still that one. Amazing. This needs to spin longer. Okay, that's a little too long. Okay, that'll work. Screw it. It's good enough. It won't it won't screw up on defaults now, which is all we really care about. Alright. Save finally. Exit finally. Save before exiting. Yes. 
Let's play this stupid challenge for the last time. And then hole number one's done. And then we just have eight more to go. I feel so dumb when I watch what logic you are making, Cod. Don't worry, man. Like, every piece of logic I've learned over years and years and years. But it's all really basic. I don't have any tools. But if you look at just the six logic gates and you can understand how those work, everything else just kind of, ex like, just goes um, further and further. Uh, if you hit the ball very hard, and at the same time when the ball passes the wrong sensor, go ahead and press the button so the ball doesn't fall. Yeah, I mean, sure. You could do this, and then hit this, and hope hope you can get them. But, like, are you serious? Did I just get it right on the first try? It's actually this one? Or are they all just broken? Nope. Literally, it's just that one. That's amazing. Now I can reset this. I screwed it up. I missed. I missed. That's amazing. It's actually the middle one. That's so great. I mean, yeah, you could technically cheat that way, but you know what? We've built in a ton of anti-cheat mechanisms. Um, you know, if someone really wants to try hard, you could do a lot of different things to cheat, I guess. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna try and beat, prevent everything. But anyways, every piece of logic I learned in a day, easy. Listen, guys, okay, listen. Blue flame is not the norm, okay? So don't feel bad. When he's just like, I'm smarter than all you. That's just the way it is. I learned my logic over like years and years of doing it. Blue Flame is just some weird freak that just learns stuff in a day. And he's all like, oh yeah, it's just easy, man. I learned all my logic in a day. I don't even, I don't even need to go to school anymore. But no, seriously, like it, it years of, of just, you but learn, learn the basics. If you learn... Perfect, we beat that, by the way. But if you learn... Oh, we're just gonna go to Flower real quick and just, you know, ASDF, whatever. If you learn how these work, Minecraft logic is very, very similar. It's all binary logic. But if you learn how these work, these six gates, right? And even then, you can see right here, okay? So look, and it shows you the combination only if both inputs are lit or all the inputs or if any of the inputs is lit. XOR, if only one of the two inputs is lit but not both. NAND nor and x nor right so it shows you the combinations right here if you learn how these work and you become masters of these everything else is impossible is, is possible so you see nor the reason nor nor memory works for example which is what we use there for memory right so we're just gonna we're just gonna set this up real quick so if you look at nor nor memory this is how it works and i uh, know you can use x or memory but it's a nor gate and it's a nor gate and it's an or gate and the or gate is only because of scrap mechanic logic you can't wire something to itself so the reason this works as memory is because it's technically an impossible situation, right? So this NOR gate says that I can't, I got to pull this up. This NOR gate, right? It says I'm active if all the linked triggers are inactive, right? So it's only active, right? If everything else is off, like you see in this first one, if anything is on, it's not active, right? And so this one is off because this one is on and this one is on because this button is off and this or gate here is also off but now when we press this button we press this button we turn it on which means this turns off because now it has an on input and if this turns off then that means this is on because its inputs are off which is this and this which means in turn this becomes on which in turn makes that on which in turn keeps this off because even when you let go of the button it now has this input that's on that makes sense and then if you press this it reverts it so that's all you're doing it's memory so now you can store a value you can store one number and then of course if you expand that out to binary you can store multiple numbers you can store as many numbers as you want you can do all sorts of crazy stuff but that's the basic xor oh, listen listen okay blue flame listen xor memory is so much worse because i hate it but xor memory is basically all three of them wired in a really terrible way hold on i gotta spread this out more I hate XOR memory. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like what? It's this, this, and this, and then it's like this. Okay. And they're all off and now they're all on. Now they're all off. You got to only send it one tick at a time though, to make it work. It runs on one tick. Hold on. I can't, I need a tick generator. Stupid, stupid blue flame and a stupid XOR memory. Stupid wanting me to do XOR memory. I'm gonna generate a stupid, oh wait, I did that wrong.
I'm still generating more than a tick. Stupid game, he's stupid blue flame and a stupid XOR memory of pulsing. Stupid conditions. Anyways, um, anyways, XOR memory. Uh, sorry, let's just do this. So XOR memory, you see, basically it works only if one connection is on. They only all have one connection. They all feed to themselves. Uh, we're giving it a second connection here, right? So we have now, each one has two connections. If we tap this once with one tick only, it sends one tick, which means all these connections get one of their two inputs powered for one tick, so they all turn on, right? And now the one, now they're all keeping themselves powered because only one of the two connections is keeping them on. And if we tick it again, if I can do it, if we tick it again for one tick, now itself is on as well as the input you gave it. So now it's two connections that are on, so it turns itself off. If that makes sense. The only reason that I don't like XOR memory is because XOR memory needs one tick. You can see I have to like really tap it. And if I hold it, it just flicks because it's constantly going between that on off state. So when I hold it, it's going one connections on now two connections. Now one connection, two connections, one connection, two connections. It keeps going over and over again. Did you read my comment more than 10 times? Laboom plays. Uh, I, I probably, I, I might not have. I don't know. When you're trying to explain something smart, but someone keeps saying the same message, can you make a computer? Can you make a computer? Oh, I see. That's what you're saying. Can you make a computer? Um, you can make computers technically in Scrap Mechanic, but like it will take you a long, long, long time. Uh, the computer I made, the only one I've made so far is this one, uh, which I'm missing mods for. Uses some number logic. Um, but it's a design computer. It lets you build a 9x9x9 object and then save it to a block and then output it and do all that stuff. But yes, technically speaking, the blocks are available in Scrap Mechanic in Computer. Like, the, the blocks are available for you to make a computer in Scrap Mechanic. It would just take a long, long, long time. And on top of that, by the time you get enough logic gates to actually build it, it would probably completely destroy the game just with lag. Like, for example... Um, yeah, computers, like, your processor is, is a series of transistors, and transistors are kind of similar to that on-off binary switch. Um, they're a little bit different, but yeah, you, you're, one processor has billions of those in it, billions of transistors. And then you talk about all the other components of your computers, but your computer does, everything's on or off in your computer, every little individual thing. Um, Enigma machine, this is the, this is the, so this is the Enigma machine I made. Why am I missing a mod for it? What? Oh, the the stupid wheels and stuff. The the not the wheels, the letters. Um, what do I have? Yeah, so here's Battleship made with like five four thousand gates. Um, yeah, it's really laggy though. Right. So, anyways, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. But anyways. I am in the stream. Uh, I do have to run. It is uh, 537. I got to run and do some stuff today. But uh, I'm really glad we got that one golf challenge done. My goodness. I thought we were going to get at least like two done in a couple hours. But I guess we only got one done. But that's okay. We've got hole number one done. Nice, uh, perfect troll hole. And uh, we're definitely going to build more for this epic troll golf course. So, of course, if you guys have any comments, suggestions for challenges, whatever, or suggestions for troll holes you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, this is going to become a VOD, so it might take a bit for it to process and stuff. But when it does, let me know in the comments below the stream uh, other whole ideas you have. I'll definitely take some of the good ones and uh, put them all together and make some crazy stuff. Uh, I am going to think of my own ideas. I do have a few of my own as well, and uh, we're going to make more holes as well. I might do some more in stream. I might do some off stream. I'm not sure. Uh, I might do some it's like individual videos with like a time lapse or something just so I can build them off stream. I, I Again, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what we say. And, uh, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And, wow, I got told to die. That's violent. You know what? I'm go I am Oh, I can't go to... You know what I can do? I can do this. I can't... Why can't I block you? Are you serious? I Or not block you. Delete your comment. I can't delete your comment? Well, so much for that. All right. Anyways, see you guys next time. Have a good one. And uh, thank you guys for stopping in for the stream. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your grandma. And we'll see you all later. Bye.